Hi, hello and welcome to IGCSE Tube. Um, this is part number uh, three of chapter number 14, Organic Chemistry. All right, so uh, before uh, jumping into the material, I just want to say um, that this is uh, this, this section. Basically, I cut it right from the, uh, from the syllabus. This is what we will be covering in this video. Um, I thought of just giving you an idea of the progress that we will be doing um, in this video. So we will basically be covering uh, section 14.2, which is all about fuels. Um, I won't read uh, this right now. If you want, you can pause the video for like 30 seconds or so and go through it. I think I will just save the time for um, explaining and also I don't want the video to be um, super long because uh, I apologize for part number uh, two it was around 60 minutes and I usually like to keep my videos um, you know to the range of like seven to ten minutes all right um, okay and also quick note uh, before okay I don't know I think we should zoom in Okay, so um, quick note before um, going into the material, part of this video has been covered in chapter number two, part uh, number six, uh, which is the fractional uh, distillation of crude oil. Uh, the part, the, the reason why I covered um, uh, the fractional distillation of crude oil in chapter number two is because in the syllabus, uh, it said in section 2.2.2, that, um, you know, refer to the fractional distillation of petroleum in section 14.2. So I thought I should like also explain it uh, back then. Um, and so I'll put the link in the description box for um, uh, chapter number two, part number six. Um, even if you have watched the video, I recommend you um, going like watching this entire video because part of it wasn't covered in that video and also the part that was covered i did some slight um minor changes um in my explanation this time all right okay so let's jump into the um material okay so the types of fuel that you need to know is coal we all know what coal is uh, which is like the black chunks of like rocks or whatever. Um, and then you have the natural gas. Natural gas is basically the cooking gas that you use in the stoves. Um, and um, how this ties in with the, the chapter that we're talking about, which is organic chemistry, is that methane that we talked about in the previous video, and methane is basically, let me get the pen, is uh, C um ch4 so it is when c is basically one but we don't write the one so methane is the main constituent of natural gas you need to put uh this in mind and keep it in mind the methane is the main constituent of natural gas the third type of fuel is uh let me go back to the highlighter the third type of fuel is petroleum it is also known as crude oil and again, how this ties in with our chapter, which is organic chemistry, is that petroleum or crude oil is defined to be a mixture of hydrocarbons. And if you go back to part one of this chapter, we talked about what hydrocarbons meant, and they basically are compounds of carbon and hydrogen. So petroleum or crude oil is basically a mixture of hydrocarbons and mostly alkanes which could be like gas, liquid, or solid. And again, if you watch part number two of this chapter, we talked about how from C1 to C4, that is methane, ethane, propane, and butane, they were all gas. And um, when it comes to pentane, hexane, heptane, and octane, which is C5, C6, C, C, uh, C7, C8, they're all liquid. Um, so, okay, I lost it. <laughs> okay. I lost what I was going to say. Um, okay, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so alkanes basically, uh, have, what I was trying to say, that alkanes come in all different um, states, that is gas, liquid, and solid. So petroleum is mostly alkanes and not alkenes or alcohols. And these will, these are all different kinds of compounds that we will be talking about in the upcoming videos. Okay, so separating petroleum and 
here is the part that is kind of repetitive from chapter number two. Separating petroleum into useful fractions by a process known fractional distillation is known as refining. So when you separate the petroleum into useful different fractions by fractional distillation, this is known as refining. Okay, so let's come to refining. Um, okay, first you have here the uh, fractionating uh, tower. And then um, what comes in here is crude oil or petroleum. It's the same. These are synonyms. It's the same exact thing um, as I just mentioned a few minutes ago. And it goes in at a temperature of 500 degrees Celsius. That's why it is petroleum vapor, just to indicate how like high the temperature is. Um, and right before doing this video, uh, I was looking up on Google Images, you know, I just typed refining of crude oil and I was looking up different images and what's not. And then I noticed that sometimes here they put a heater just to kind of uh, emphasize the fact that the petroleum or the crude oil that goes into the fractionating tower is at really, really high temperature. But anyways, you don't need to like uh, draw a heater or anything. Uh, but if it's drawn in the exam, just don't get confused. It's just to um, reflect the fact that it goes in at a really high temperature. Okay, so the first uh, fraction that comes out of the fractionating uh, tower um, at less than 30 degrees Celsius is the refinery gas. Uh, refinery gas is basically the one used for heating and cooking, like in your kitchen stoves, um, uh, and likewise. Um, the second fraction is gasoline, or also known as petrol. So I don't want you guys to mix up between petrol and petroleum. These are two different things. Petroleum is basically crude oil. Uh, like something which is not refined, but petrol is refined because it has undergone the refining process because we said this is known as refining. So petrol is more refined than petroleum and please, please don't mix between both of them. Gasoline is used for like cars fuel, obviously, and it comes out at a temperature of 30 degrees. If you have watched... Um, the video from chapter number two that is part number six you will notice that i put ranges like for the temperatures that i put ranges and in this video i have put specific temperatures really it doesn't matter and both are correct um the only reason why i'm mentioning the boiling points here is because um you need to know that as you go down this fractionating tower, the boiling points increases. You need to know that. That's one of the trends you need to keep in mind of this refining, <coughs> sorry, of this refining uh, process. But you don't need to memorize the numbers. You, you just need to know the different fractions, the different uses, and the order of the fractions. And the fact that the boiling point uh, increases across the refining uh, tower or the fractionating tower. The next um, fraction is naphtha. It is used for making chemicals. The next is kerosene or paraffin and is used as jet fuel. The next one is diesel oil or it's also known as gas oil and it's used as a fuel in diesel engines and these are usually the truck engines. So it's used as trucks fuel. Um, fuel oil, it is uh, fuel for ships and home heating systems. Lubricating oil, it's used for lubricants, waxes, and polishes. One quick note, if you uh, go back to the video of chapter number two, part number six, you will see that the order of these are switched. That is, I have lubricating oil here and fuel oil down here. It doesn't really matter because both of them come out in the range of 250 to 350 degrees Celsius. The only reason I went with this order this time around is because in the syllabus, this is the order which is uh, mentioned. Okay, if we go back to the syllabus, so they have the fuel oil first and then the lubricating uh, fraction or the lubricating oil fraction. So... To be on the safe side, go with the um, with the order of the syllabus because, as we said, ultimately the syllabus is our uh, is our like main guide. 
but they're both correct uh, because they come out at the uh, same range. Okay, I'm sorry, we're having zooming issues here. Okay, and the last fraction, um, and when I say last and first fraction, it doesn't mean this comes out first or this comes out last. I'm just like talking about when we go down the fractionating tower. Uh, but the main um, kind of measure of uh, what comes out first or not is basically the the boiling points or temperatures. Okay, so butamin comes out at temperatures greater than 350 and they're used for making uh, roads, the butamin. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. The other trend that you need to notice is, or no, it is not mentioned in the um, syllabus, but I think you need to know, so it's useful to know more. And that is the viscosity increases as you go down, as you go down. And what does viscosity mean? All what you need to know, it means thickness. So, for example, the butamin is definitely way thicker than the gasoline or the petrol. That's what you need to know. That is the thickness or the viscosity increases as you go down and also the boiling point. I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, thank you very much for all the support. I think by the time I'll be uploading this video, we will have hit like 300 subscribers. I'm so thankful for every one of you. Um, please let your friends know about my videos so that everyone can benefit. Um, as I always say, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to put it in the comment section below. And I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get the latest uh, updates. And see you in the next video.